This video intended for entertainment and informative purposes only, but the live commentary may not reflect this rating. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, it's Colin Collection 999. Welcome back to our Super Mario 64 Last Impact. In the last episode, we completed the casino that's right here on the moon for some reason. And in this episode, we're going to be going into Rache's base. Not through the main entrance though. Through this other entrance behind the uh, fence. Kind of an odd place to put this, don't you think? Course 13, Colossal Circuit. Turn off the cooler. The fact that Super Mario 64 can handle this kind of music is truly amazing. It really shows the abilities of K's. Check it out! We got the Electro, Electro Koopas from Super Mario Sunshine! And unfortunately, we don't have Flood to... That was a great start. Okay, you just wait for them to launch their shells at you, uh, stomp on them, and they'll drop a blue coin. Okay. So, uh, to turn off the cooler, what we have to do is... First of all, do we have to step on this? Uh, no. First, we need to get to the cooler, and check it out, we got capacitors here. And we know how much Electro Boom loves capacitors. So basically, what we have to do is we want to hop on this fan right here, and, uh, let it blow us up here. I like how the, uh, Electro Koopas, like, make amp sounds. So basically, the cooler is, um, the cooler is up here, and the star is right there. And we want to turn off the cooler, because if we don't, it's going to blow us off the edge. So to turn off the cooler, we need to hit that yellow button over there. Although, I don't like the fact that that yellow button is right above a pit, so, uh, let's, uh... Oh, there, there we go. We want to jump at it and wall kick to, uh, to oppress it. And that will knit you the star. Here we go. Climb the cables. We must climb to the highest point of Colossal Circuits. Starting from the starting here. We got these, uh, rainbow wires here. Oh, by the way, guys, I want to mention real quick, at the time of recording this, it is, uh, July 4th, uh, American Independence Day. So, um, happy Independence Day to us Americans. Also, Canadian Independence Day was, uh, three days ago to happy, uh, Canadian Independence Day as well. Um, yeah. I meant to say it at the beginning of the video, but I forgot. Fortunately, I didn't go to any barbecues today, so I didn't get any delicious burgers. So my be so instead, my belly is full on four uh, peanut butter and fluff sandwiches. Okay, that's not what we want to do. We also got um, spiders in here. Well, scuttlebugs, but they're just uh, then we have normal scu scuttlebugs and spiders in this game, both versions recolored, but they're essentially the same thing. Okay, I think we want to, uh, go over here to where this, uh, red wire is connecting. Then, uh, hop up here. Up here. Up here. And then I think we can wall kick, um, onto this. Whoa! Oh, jeez. I'm actually glad I hit B right there because uh, bumping into the wall actually saved me from going into the pit. The way I moved my control stick there almost sounded like it was about to snap off. I gotta be... I've been using this... I've been using this green Nintendo 64 controller for a while, like, not any other ones, because I feel like it's... Um, it's had the uh, best performance out of all nine Nintendo 64 controllers I own. There's the red one, too. I guess I could use that. Alright, up here. 
Yep, star's right up there. I'm gonna hop on this blue. And go up here. And up here. Careful. Don't panic. Don't hit too many button inputs. There we go. Clean the pipeline. All right. So over here, we got these two data buses moving around. I don't actually know what a data bus is, but I think this is another like computer joke. Um, I want to warn you, by the way. Um, if you spend too long in this level, the um. The data buses will actually um, get off their track, their main track, and will kind of like start going to the side a little. And uh, eventually they'll get to a point where you actually just can't long jump to them anymore. So um, if you need to use the data buses, I'd suggest doing these stars fast. Otherwise, uh, you may not be able to... Um, otherwise, uh, you may... You may get screwed out of getting a star. Alright. Got electric walls here. And they hurt. Okay, so what we want to do is, um, you see, we have a series of uh, green pipes up there. Let's kill this electro Koopa first. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I always thought the electric. Ooh, there's a one up over here. I always thought the electric Koopas in Super Mario Sunshine that appeared in Peanut Park, they always felt a little bit out of place, um, in, uh, the. Um, in the amusement park of Peanut Park. What do you guys think? Do you think the, uh, Electro Koopas are fitting enemies for that level? Okay. Uh, this pipe right- Uh, most of these, uh, pipes either have sand in them or corks in them. This one, uh, is open, though. There we go. So basically, you have these little, uh, dirty splotches right here. Like, dirty marks. And, um, uh, cleaning them up triggers secrets. And, doing, and collecting five of them will net us a star. Here we go. And just for the sake of showing you, if you go out here, uh, you'll pop out of this pipe. Can you actually go, go back in through this way? I don't think you can. There we go. Spring Mario's Parkour! Check it out, we got a return to the Spring Shroom from Super Mario Galaxy. Alright, I'm gonna run over to where we need to go, I'll meet you guys there. You know, I'm betting there's actually going to be some naysayers in the comments who are going to be like, This can't possibly be Super Mario 64 2 because we got stuff from Super Mario Sunshine and Galaxy in here. And to that I say... Yeah, you're right. I feel like if this was Super Mario 64 2, we probably wouldn't see the uh, Spring Shroom or like the Honey Shroom or Electro Koopas. But, um, either way... But either way, a lot of the stuff that's in here feels like it could be, um, a Super Mario 64 sequel material. Even if they weren't exactly the uh, power-ups that were brought in from other Mario games. Okay. To get up there, I think we need to go up this blue wire. Do it carefully. Nope, that's not it. I think what you're actually supposed to do is, um, I think you need to climb up onto these pipes. And then uh, up to as high as you can go. Let's get this one up again. As high as you can go on top of them. To like, uh... To like get on... To like uh, get up onto that fan right there. Here we go. Yeah, I was right. That was just total baloney, what I was doing. If you could get up there, though, I suppose you could uh, do this without the uh, Spring Shroom. If you're really good, you could even do what missions in Super Mario Galaxy without the Spring Shroom. With the Spring Mushroom, Mario can transform into a human spring. Ground pound or hold A to gain extra height on your bounces. But instead of going into a spring suit like he does in uh, Super Mario Galaxy, he gains spring legs like he does with the spring o Candy in Mario Party 8. Okay. 
Oh yeah, if you ground pound, you can uh, you can bounce really high. Okay. I do think it controls a little bit better in uh, Mario Galaxy though. So um, let's try. Um... So you want to be able to jump high enough to uh, get on top of uh, this right here. I don't want to try getting on top of that uh, that blue wire though. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, that was close. I don't know if you can wall kick with the spring shroom, but uh, okay. Whoa, watch out. There we go. No. Oh yeah, you can. Okay. Here we go. Don't really know where we want to go for here. Uh, I think we just want to get on top of here. Wait. No, that's not. I don't want to do that. Let's see. Uh. Alright, let me try wall kicking like that. Okay. There we go. Now we just gotta carefully, uh, boing over to the star. Could be like the- oh, jeez. Jeez. You like that one one-up in, uh, Toy Time Galaxy. Speaking of one-ups, there's one if you want to go down there and bounce back up to get the star. I'm not gonna go for it. Red coins in circuits. Now, I'm actually going to make special note of one red coin because there's one that's actually, um, actually a little bit, uh, not tough to get, but it's kind of cryptic on how you get it. And, th and uh, that red coin is actually how I discovered, um, um, that how the uh, data buses, um, kind of mess up. Also, the star kind of messed up on me when I, uh, was playing this last time, so I hope it doesn't happen this time. Okay, I don't think there's one in there. All uh, right, let's see. Anything up here? Yep, here we go. Oops, no. Hmm, no. Let me, uh, get on this. There we go. Like that. One in there too. I think there's one uh, in the in those ice cube trays as well. Was well, there one between one? Like that. Hmm. I don't think there's any up there. I think they're actually all um, after the uh, data buses though. Oh wait, nope. There's one there. Okay, so I think there's four on this side and four after the data buses. Am I wrong? I could be, but uh, only one way to find out. Jump. Okay. I think, uh, there, there was a, an extra one of these added. I think there used to be only one of them. Could be wrong, though. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. Like that. Oh, you know what, actually? I think there's, um, one on the, uh, pipes, too. So, uh, let's jump in here. Alright, um... In there. And now I think there's one up here, so we want to go up here. Uh, let's get the one up again, too. This is an easy one up to get, so you could get it like every time you come here. I feel like I was just going to walk off there again. Because I was expecting Mario to uh, just do that, where he just flips 180 degrees instantaneously. Not like do a full turnaround. Yeah, I think the one of the red coins is, like, in one of these pipes. Oh, no. Oh, okay, I was just straight up wrong. I don't know why I thought there was one on the pipes. There we go. Now we got seven red coins, and now you're probably going to be running around searching this entire level to find the last one. 
Where is the last one? Well, let me show you where the last one is. You see this thing from a shock, drop, and roll in Mario Party 2? Try running on it. Yep, that's where it is. Is that a light bulb, actually? Because, like, the... The, uh... Red coin comes out of it, but... Is there, like... Can you, like, make that light to, like, turn all the way on if you just keep running on this? Hmm. Kind of strange. Alright, let's get on these data buses before they, uh, before they, um, drift too far, too far apart. You can kind of see them starting to drift now, actually. Let's hop over here and get the star. Like, I had the star, like, appear under the ground once for some reason. Antivirus plumber. Oh, you were thinking about a computer virus, were you? Nope, it's the viruses from Dr. Mario. Which I have an NES, but I haven't played that much. I will say, if you haven't played uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, um, they actually brought back the, uh, do the um, Dr. Mario uh, virus enemies in that game, and you actually get to fight them, and the way you fight them is really cool. Mar if you haven't played Superstar Saga, it's a really great game for the Game Boy Advance. Mario and Luigi series is awesome. Hope you guys are excited for our Mario and Luigi Brotherhood that's coming out on Switch soon. Being honest, I kind of still don't like that there's going to be a new successor to the Nintendo Switch. Like, I'm just like... To be... Like, I understand that the Switch is kind of lacking power, and, uh... And, uh... And I could do well with an upgrade, but... Do we really need one? Eventually, because it's just going to result in support for everything... And the Switch going away, just like it has with the 3DS and the Wii U. Okay, whatever. Um, there those guys are up there, so, um, I don't remember exactly... Don't exactly remember what you gotta do to fight them, but uh, basically, um, they have their own special abilities. The blue one blows you away. I think you gotta, like, run, uh, around him and, like, get behind him. Uh, yeah, there we go. Just one hit and it will defeat him. Well, make him go back up there. I think this guy breathes fire. Yep. Oh, no, he throws fireballs. Just like Fire Mario. And this guy... Okay. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna... Yeah, he grows really big. I thought the fight was gonna be unwinnable because he jumped off like that. Oh, jeez. Yeah, now we gotta fight them all at once. I think I might actually lose this because I, um... I, I think I used the, uh, the coins too soon. I actually didn't remember that you had to fight them all at once. Oh! Oh! <laughs> because he burned me, I, like, jumped into the air and then landed on them. That was funny. Oops. Hey! I was- I hit R by accident while collecting the star. Alright, now let's get the 100 coins.
That was great. And I'm holding R, by the way, and he's spinning. Because the camera's trying to center around him, which is kind of funny. Okay. Alright, guys, that's going to do it for Colossal Circuits. One of the... One of the all-time greatest levels in, in, uh, in, uh, this hack, I think. And with that, I'm gonna grab the star and get a few one-ups, and next time on Last Impact, we're gonna do Course 14. See you guys then, goodbye.